E for marketwizards.com and eminiwizard.com. Mining traders use risk capital you can afford to lose. Okay, if you got paid <laughs> into that gap, as we had suggested, paid by 92s, then this is the contra to that trade. And <clears throat> with news coming out at 10 o'clock, if you are short, if you took a short, whether you took the long or not, <clears throat> if you took a short, my suggestion is paid back into the middle here at 87, anywhere from 88 to 86, 456 trade. Said two-way day. And this 82, aggressive support, still intact for now. And you wanna get paid, you wanna make sure you get your VIG. Fast up, surprise. And it comes right back down. This is a great trade speed wise. Fast up, fast down. We don't know anything more than still range type trading. Here's your three minute chart. Traders here that got beat end of the day still underwater for now. This is a three minute chart. If you're looking at the five, as we also were, shorting in the hole is tough. The gap is closed. Much better odds shorting near the highs than obviously shorting the lows. And, and it's this range where all these moving averages are still up here that makes this a tough short at the open. Much better odds up here. 86 to 88 payday. And, and basically, I'm targeting the 87, 87 and a half. News coming out. If you are a conservative trader, you should be sidelined. Both sides have money early. <laughs> Real question is, do we get whack-a-mole, meaning making higher highs, higher lows? <clears throat> Or do we still have something in the shoot to come back and test the lows? And I say do not be aggressive right now. <clears throat> if you've got your VIG, your four or five points already, say you got two long side, two short side, two and a half, guess what? Your day is done. Don't have to make it fancy. Not trying to call the the weather for three weeks from now. We're just trying to say what's going to happen <clears throat> within the next 30 minutes, the next hour. That's all we're doing. We're using the larger ideas to help us figure that out. Here's our angels and demons. This is why I <clears throat> target at that 87 and a half area. Thank you, Zeke. Factory orders missed by 9%. Much better for pending home sales. Sometimes trading is like putting your hand in a blender. Isn't that the truth? All right, doing, doing a quickie in your head, you should be able to, to do a swing middle in your head. <clears throat> right? If, if the base starts at, at 80, 80 and a half, and we go up to 92, so that's about a 12-point swing. <clears throat> so your your target really comes back. You want you want to think about 12-point swing. Half of that six points. So that becomes your target range. Anybody that's in this trade, more than likely you're jumped in rather than <clears throat> holding. And right now, obviously, we're looking to test support, the 84 to 82 support zone. Said so this low right in here was a key. All right, we take that out, then we can go to the next, <clears throat> next line back here at 82. 
which would be our angel, and that would be about a dime off the top. Reminder, don't try to get that last point. That last point is the one that often will get us. Okay, and here is the box. <clears throat> You're in on the weekly basis. That was our fighting box rejected. <clears throat> this is now our fighting box and this is our support box. <clears throat> with, without news coming, then a trade like this, you can usually hold, but with news, it makes it much harder. <clears throat> I keep saying, my friend Anthony Crudelli talks about that all the time. But how did you get there? Did you keep the risk on or not? See, there, there are lots of different ideas that come into play. <clears throat> and anybody can say, hey, you know, that's a 10-point trade. But were you willing to stand in there and take the risk that you just gave back all your profits? And I say, no, I don't like that style of trading. Why, why would you not just try to accumulate? Why always have risk on? That doesn't make sense. <clears throat> that, that, that means you're always swinging from the heels, trying to drive at 250 over the water. Come on. Lay it up and hit a pitching wedge. Two-way day, we said likely. So far, that's what we've got. And 85 is the crossroads. I always want to know what's happening at 85. I said today, do not get caught on the short side. I'm reminding you of that. <clears throat> and call me conservative, but <laughs> you'll live a little bit longer if you're conservative. At least that's worked for me. I actually stop at red lights, stop at a yellow light even. We'd said 82 support until broken. So far that's intact. Got a range type trade. Do not over trade. We need some time to consolidate. We've had a pretty serious push from yesterday. These traders are still trapped. However, I think today is one of those days we have to be somewhat conservative, <clears throat> short side. If we take out the low, we know that the next level targeting is 78. But we already know these levels. We don't know they'll get there, but we know where the levels are and where not to overstay. <clears throat> this low in the 89 area, we can see how important that is from, from yesterday's range. Above it, we are bouncing on the RTH and below it, we're looking for support. So potential test below at uh, 83 to 82. Tough here right now too. Sometimes you'll get those targets, but you got to give back five points to get them. That's the problem. Two-way day. <clears throat> 